my mom went to Carol's house and she went inside and Carol was naked. And the first thing she said to my mom was, what are you doing here? My mom saw the girls on the bed. They were also naked, but they looked red and she thought they were maybe sunburnt. Carol walked towards my mom and my mom realized what state that the girls were in. One of them was hit in the head with a claw hammer. All three of their throats were slashed. My mom went outside and yelled to Rudy um, that she killed the girls. So they, they both went inside the house. Carol locked the bedroom door. Rudy had to forcefully kick the door open. Carol stood over the girls like she was trying to protect them. With the knife held outwards, police called him. While the police were interacting with her, she tried to kill herself. Then um, she stabbed herself and they took her away. After the murders, my sister was given a diagnosis of postpartum psychosis. That should have been more than enough for her to not be convicted and in prison. Well, Rudy agrees that Carol should be in a mental facility because postpartum psychosis is real and no one really talks about it. And Rudy, I, I, I'm glad you're here today. I, I'm, I'm sorry for the occasion. I, I can't even imagine um, what this must be like. It, it, it doesn't get any easier, I, I'm, I'm sure. Tell me what this process has been like for you when, when you found out what happened how do you even wrap your head around that? I couldn't fathom the fact of what happened. I kept asking myself, what happened to my life? You know, what happened? I thought everything was all right. And just one day, just everything changed. Looking back, are there red flags that you, you saw and didn't react to or that you feel like you missed? A day before? She was acting different, acting a little weird. You know, she jumped on me. She it was, she wasn't like a very physical person, so she, that was kind of that was odd to me for her to do that. And um, it's it's how can I, it's harder. This you can't. There's no way you can read those unless you've already been through it. Like nobody's nobody talks about it. Nobody's ever explained to us men. Oh, these are the characteristics. This is what happens. And like you say, nobody talks about this. Had had any had anybody talked to you about it? Had anybody said to you as her husband, you know, she's struggling with a, a postpartum scenario, or had they said this is a psychosis? Had they had they called you aside and said your wife is very, very sick? Had anybody said anything like that to you? No one ever. Postpartum, I've heard of the word, right. but no one's ever really, you know, you kind of figure what it is, postpartum, but postpartum depression, postpartum psychosis, never heard of before until then. Right. I've read all the things that you've said and the things that you've been through. Uh, did you feel like you failed your, no. your babies? No, I don't. Because you can't know. I mean, if you don't know, you can't react to what you don't know. I, I've, I've been able to maintain myself and keep my head up high because I know I was there for my daughters. And I was there for them until the, the end. There was, there was nothing that they needed. I was always there. I was there every single day. And when she acted strangely and, and jumped on you, you, you reacted to that and you stayed home the next day. Yes, I didn't go to work you thought, the next day. Yeah, I, mean, I, I, I don't was, know what's going on here. I'm going I'm to stick around. Outside of character, she was just outside of being herself. So you stayed home to keep an eye on things. Yeah. And you, you were outside working on the car, staying around the house. You were, you were sticking close to keep an eye on it. But it happened just that quick. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.